and 25 people, only top three will pass. I just run, run for the life. When I applied in 1995, we have almost like more than 20,000 applicants. Out of at least more than 20,000, uh, 180 pass. We had a three stage um, selection process. That's where my um, life of service began. Before I even born, my parents have a dream, me joining the Gurkha. And if you are a British Gurkha, all the girls love you. Drop you in the break and beacons and then just off you go. I will see you in one month's time. If you take the 100 people and go inside the door, they don't have a clue what's going on. But if you take, take the one regiment guy, they know exactly what's going on. You just make one call, then it's like life or death. And we have still hold the Guinness World Record. So 13 service members submitted. It's the biggest ever group. Regiment show me the way who I am and help me achieve in my life with discipline and dedication. Your achievements have been absolutely phenomenal. This week on The Debrief then, I've got a former Gurkha who also ended up in 2-2 SAS for around 17 years, probably a little bit more. He summited, I don't know how many summits of how many different mountains we're going to find out. Krishna, great to see you, buddy. Thank you, Phil, having me on your um, podcast. I'm very great and honoured to be here and share some stories. No, I'm glad you came. Listen, with all my guests, I always try and find out a little bit about you when you were little. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about Krishna growing up and where you grew up and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, um, grown up in uh, Western Nepal, uh, nearby, uh, almost about 2,000 meter altitude, uh, Annapurna Range, uh, uh, Popper Mountain. Uh, my granddad was a Gurkha, lost in the Second World War, and okay. my father failed to join the Gurkha three times. Um, here I am, and um, yeah, uh, um, Born, you know, like as a child, grown up massively on the culture and traditional as the Eastern, you know. Because like. did you did you do school and that sort of stuff, or were you sort of literally? Uh, yeah, it was uh, part of the school as well, okay. and the you know, like traditional culture is also in wisdom, uh, Buddhist and Hindus, okay. uh, as you know, like traditional way. Yeah. So you you had a happy childhood. Uh, yes, I think very happy. To be honest, we didn't know nothing about from being in a mountain, you know, playing around and uh, just worshipping the God, you know, worshipping the tree, uh, water, sky. I think that's the way of, you know, our traditional culture. Okay, uh, so very much, you know, no electronics. N- nothing. No, no television. No, <laughs> just, just a very sort of natural yeah. upbringing. Yeah, very much, uh, you know, like uh, growing up as in uh, worshipping the nature. And that's all we had anyway. So, yeah, basically, first time I seen the aeroplane and buses was when I joined the Gurkha. Oh, okay. So yeah. a lot of people out, out there won't have won't realise the procedure and how it is to join the Gurkhas. It's 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 a very prestigious thing to do for a, for a young man from where you come from, isn't it? Very much. Uh, it's still the, like um, you know like well, more than two hundred years now uh, in the British Army and Gurkhas connection. And um, you know, it's the like even when I applied in nineteen ninety five, we have almost like more than twenty thousand applicants. Wow. And then, so basically, let's take it this way. Every boy in Nepal is to join in the British Kirk. Okay. So out of a list of more than 20,000, uh, 180 pass. Wow. Yeah. So what is the procedure? How do they, how do they say, right, that's, that's the 120 they're going to go, <laughs> and that's the, that's the 19,980 <laughs> that are going to fail? Yeah. How do they work that out? So best, um, when I joined, like, you know, like almost 30 years ago, we had a three-stage um, selection process. Uh, number one is what we call it ex-retired Gurkha yeah. uh, from the local area. Uh, they will just go through the word of mouth by then, and then they will say, right, okay, on that day, let's April, April the 3rd, in this area, the ex-Gurkhas will come up and that's like basic, they will uh, measure your height, uh, make sure it's above 5.2. 
and then your chest, and then they just basically scan through, you know, like no damage, your eyes. Okay, so, so just to say you're a fit, fit young man, fit young man who we could possibly do something yeah. with. Yeah, and that's the first stage, and, and they will check your, you know, like um, uh, kind of behind your, you know, what's the history and have you yeah. been related with the Gurkhas and all the stuff. And once you that, once everything tick, then after they will say like, oh, next month, and then you will come to what we call the regional selection. Okay. So then there will be, then we will have a retired Gurkha officer. And then, you know, like a lot more pocket of everyone, everyone come there, about three to 400 people, and then the retired officer, and then as a, you know, like kind of retired, but all the senior yeah. ranks. And then... And what do you do there? What do you actually have to do? Now, to do anything? yeah. So in there is now you have to do the 12-time uh, push-up, you know, okay. like push-up. Push well, Quite, well, I was like, well, like, yeah. You to be yeah. a Marine. <laughs> 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 that was a lot. Yeah, I don't even know. You know, like now I could I just hang, and the, yeah. So and twenty, uh, it's a forty-five degree incline uh, plank, yeah, and upside down, and you have to do the uh, twenty-five more than twenty-five times in one up. minute. Yeah, sit up. So yeah. th those are the uh, you know like basic. And once you pass that, yeah. then you we have to do what called the English test. Uh, make sure everyone has the basic. Uh, it's like very basic. When I joined, they just asked me, what is your name? And can you write down your name in English? And so that's kind of English test. And then they will have a basic uh, medical, like, you know, the uh, Gulf Welfare Trust. Yeah. They will send the one medic, then they will check the proper blood pressure and your kind of proper, like, you know, your teeth and ear and yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that's the second Give one. You a cough and a... <laughs> yeah, basically, a bit of a cough. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we do that, and once you pass the physical and little bit kind of English and the medical, medical is you know like quite um, uh, you know like detriment there because of everyone in boys and so it's tough, it's tough, a tough, tough yeah, medical, medical, yeah, and then yeah. because we didn't have any as such medical history behind, yeah. just passing through that everything has to be pretty much what the British MOD requirement, and once you got that, and then. You, they will give you, if you pass, then they will give you the final stage, then where we can, everyone come, it's called, a place called Pokhara, uh, which is like central and final selection. And then that's where the like, uh, uh, team from Catrick, you know, all the serving, you know, like. Okay, so, yeah. so, so Gurkha's proper turn up yeah, there. Yeah. And, so what do you do with them? What, what do you do with them? Then, then they will come up and they will do the, uh, now I know, CFT. Yeah. And then, most importantly, we call the Dokores, you know, they carry the, you know, it's like actually the CFT, yeah. but in Nepal, there is not not area suitable for all these things that they found the one hill. It's yeah. almost about, I think, two miles up and down. So because Gurkhas, when I, even for me, I never carry the uh, backpack okay, in my yeah. life before I joined the Gurkhas. So what they, we do is we carry the, what called Doko, but it's like bucket with the uh, bamboo. Okay. And then we put, they put the sand, like 25, I think almost like 20, 25 kg normal here. Yeah. And then you just carry on the forehead and then just run. And the, uh, the test was, you like this one. And the test was like you know, 25 people, only top three will pass. Then wow, so it's a race. It's so a it's race. A, yeah, 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 yeah. Either you are in one, two, three, or, or you're, that's, you're just, done. that's you're done. There's yeah, no... You just wasted your time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much like... This stage, this stage, almost like maybe six, seven months, you know, like from the stage one to the yeah. to, to the final. Then you come there, and then this is just run, run for the life. Yeah. I, I remember, like, you know, like this is me breaking or you know, like surviving or breaking, you know, like yeah. just top three. And this is one of the stages, and at the same time, and uh, they will go through like you know, like basic drills, and you know, walking in the left, right, yeah. and you know, all this rank and all these basic drills and morning routine. Everything yeah. is starting slowly, and at the same time, uh, the you know, like all the instructor from the Catrick, then they will start looking at you more closely. You know, your character, and yeah. you know what what is it like teamwork, discipline all this stuff. And um, I think then they will go more sort of in detail, um, written how it is English, you know, what is his background, yeah. you know, is it related to the girl? Cause kind of document, proper thoroughly check. I think it uh, goes maybe two and a half month. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're having a good look at you now. Yeah, pretty much very, very good looking. And we got a British officer involved, man. 
Yeah. And I know like we have obviously in the Pokhara, we have the CEO, full colonel and a couple of major and QM, pretty much all the popper into the kind yeah. of military way. And they will often come and start teaching and speaking with you and just try to find out the true character. character. Yeah, 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 yeah. And once you pass all the, you know, like uh, physical, uh, obviously uh, written and just some of the basic field craft and then you have proper discipline. And it's come the final, final days, whoever lasts after two and a half months standing there. If you can't, then you just start thinning out, you know, the Okay, spagger. so that's, that's, that's yeah. just about enough. Yeah, or, or you fail. And yeah. basically, if you are not top three, you fail. You just pack your bat and gone. Wow. And and eventually that going and going. And after maybe, even in, our, uh, in my time, I think maybe maybe about 800 to 900 are past everything, you know, like physical, mental, and in resilience, character. Yeah. But we just had a space of, you know, like 180. And uh, in, this is the very, tr you stand up, and then I think it's the, maybe, thoughts of luck. You know, I remember the hour, uh, I have a Colonel a J.P. Cross. Uh, by then, still remember, like 30 years ago, he's like God, you know, like come to, and he just taught you. And if he taught you, either, we don't know yet, either you've passed or failed, it just, it just literally come. I don't know. They must have some record and who they yeah, yeah, thought. So yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you just look at this Lord. Does he like him or not? <laughs> <laughs> and then like, and then after the, all, you know, like he goes through rank by rank. And then, and then he, the, one of the sergeant major will say like, all the person who thoughts is the back and then didn't step forward. And then like, okay, forward, step forward, guys will go this side. And then, you know, like who guys step backwards, go this side. We yeah. don't even know what the hell is going on. And there's like, okay, this team come here, back. <laughs> and then they will tell, oh, you now pass. Oh wow, okay, wow. so it's brutal. Yes, absolutely yes. brutal. brutal. There's no right. sort of like <laughs> no, there is no, you know, no question asked. So once you pass at this stage, where do you go then? Do you go and do your basic training proper then? Yeah. So then once you pass, and then yeah. then we they hold still there, but then they will, you know, we uh, we go to the proper training, that, you know, like hair cutting, saving, and yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. Uh, proper drill for start. Did what the Gurkhas they done is because of the we we still done. Even even for me, I didn't have any academic education in yeah. hardly speaking English. Then they start uh, start teaching the basic English, okay. you know, like A B C D to the my name yeah. and all this stuff. And then that in the morning, you know, wake up, PT, you know, one hour to our running, and uh, they start proper going through the drills and history behind the Gurkha. Start yeah. looking at the movie, you know, first all wars, second all wars, and start you know like going through the basic and also. Education of the uh, what is you know Great Britain, what is England, where we gonna go, and this will be your culture, and you know like start it's maybe yeah, 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 maybe yeah. maybe yeah. three months we will be oh, okay. uh, will be there. And did you did you have a, did you enjoy that time? Oh, loved it. Yeah, yeah I see. You know, a boy from Nepal, uh, pretty much uh, born there, and you know, grown up in the mountain, not knowing nothing, and every boy dream. From Nepal is to join the big Gurkhas first. You know, there is no what if. There's no, you know, it's like, uh, first of all, you got the, you know, pride yeah. as a man. And if you look at even myself, my grand granddad was Gurkha. My granddad was second, I know, lost in Second World Gurkhas. My father failed the Gurkha. Yeah. And before I even born, my parents have a dream, me joining the Gurkha. You know, you can see how much immense, immense pride and oh, honor sure, yeah. oh, sure. honor and you know as a young boy you are 17 18 years old go, a boy walking in the in a mountain if you are a british girl all the girls love you that's the magnet that's the magnet you're the like, G, yeah you're that's the like oh, he's the guy you know it's like a story yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, you know like boys war of that whole area and i still remember from my uh, my, you know, let's say we got a, a small, you know, like mountain range yeah. and whole mountain range of where I came from is maybe handful of, uh, uh, obviously my uncle was Gurkha, my father failed and then there's one guy after me. So it's actually national news, almost like for our, in our area, it's like, oh, Chris is going to the Gurkha. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it is dream and desire 
a boy can ever dream in that age and time you know i think it's the great honor and wow. privilege yeah so it was the first time you left nepal that's the, the first time <laughs> so you leave that's it you're done. You, you, yeah. okay now where did you go what was your first thought like where did you go when you first uh, posted so yeah uh we were the obviously you know like uh uh before us uh all the gurkhas used to recruit in hong kong yeah and we were the like one uh, first almost i think second team uh, because obviously hong kong was closed down in 1997 yeah. so we were like first lot uh coming to the uk and uh such crew come okay yeah that was our first uh uh obviously flying in landing in heathrow and just you know imagine and dreaming you know first time seeing the plane first time seeing the bus first time seeing the electricity you know everything wow. is like almost like a shock you know your yeah. culture cultural shock and uh, you know like everything your body what is you, you don't know nothing you know you just come like what is this looks like to be in london yeah yeah, you know? yeah. that must be a really uh, crazy feeling yeah it's really you know almost like overwhelmed yeah uh but at the same time you know i think um uh, life take us to the curve isn't it sometime and we we have to accept yeah and yeah, we have yeah. to just learn and crawl and oh, first thing on i seeing the old electricity flying over the london and it's like wow is this real is this dream or is it just me and you land and it's like it's real you know it's yeah, happening yeah. and yeah that's where we land and went to the uh, church program and nearby also uh, that's where my um uh dream and um, life of service began okay so early days in the forces what what sort of stuff were you doing um yeah joining the uh, first royal gore rifle yeah. infantry um um uh, we have nine month obviously you know uh, training there from there i um obviously in, within the gore cuz we have Uh, got the engineers signal gorka yeah. signal safe and the gorka band and gorka obviously infantry or yeah. gorka rifles and and as airborne gorkas yeah, well, yeah airborne yeah. gorkas um yeah that was still part of it actually yeah i would choose uh, initially actually i choose the band brigade of band okay. and but in you know, all of my ideas came in and kick me my ass as like <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the hell chris do you know where you're going oh you know like with due respect you know? yeah and then uh, and that's like oh because i'm from village we grown up with dancing and you know cultural way yeah, of yeah, and yeah. i thought i can play the flute i can play the what we call <laughs> the madal and i'm gonna yeah. go on band and do you know even what the actually the brigade of band they played no it's like oh why the hell you choose i thought oh i like i like that you know i'm 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 dancing i used to be very <laughs> romantic guy and it's like you know i want he gave me that look at 20 press up i was like oh shit and did the 20 press now go and change to the in- infantry okay because obviously he knows you know what's kind of uh, you know like as as a young recruit he yeah. must have seen me or you know is crazy you are kind of i used to you know like same thing gpmg and lsw and yeah, still yeah. run around and then he must oh you going to the infantry You're like oh okay and go <laughs> change change to the um infantry royal yeah. guard rifles and i think it's the best everything i happen and i uh, went to the one hour there which was in brunei Okay. And by then, we, you know, like, and we uh, draft there straight after, and so up in a Brunei, and then you know, like early days, I end up doing call lot enemy for the selection. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. By then, yeah. Uh, still, still don't have a clue though. You know what, what? What we've been just kind of as a young trooper, you just go and do the stag, and then walk into the forest. Yeah. So and meanwhile, and everyone <laughs> selection <laughs> tracking and yeah, all yeah, yeah, watching you and all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I end up doing that three years. Okay. Yeah, in Brunei, and during that time, then I was very, you know, fortunate. I did the, you know, like you say, Gurkha Airborne uh, with the two paras, you know, like jumping and all yeah. this stuff, uh, and did a couple of, you know, good courses and junior brekken. And by then, uh, within the three four months. How did, how did you find junior brekken? Oh, for for me, it was very challenging. I think it's the first ever uh, time exposed to the, you know, like. walking with the wider british armed yeah. forces and especially and also there's, there's a fair amount of right reading and writing to be done as well isn't quite it? a lot i yeah. think to be honest especially for me was uh personally i found very challenging but at the same time you know because when i came and started doing the recruit and then i realized i need to uh basically start run, learning english sharply 
and we start writing and that's what I straight away I should like a walk on. So, you know, like one of the things, even every, um, you know, like normal leave, yeah. uh, when I used to go to Nepal and, uh, you know, like three, three, three weeks leave, then I would still go to the English language. Oh, okay. in, in, yeah, I didn't spend in like as a holiday flight to Nepal, still go to the, you know, English class and start learning because I realized, gosh, I need to start learning. And I never dream I will be good at it though. But the my dream was oh I maybe picked up lunch jack before I retire. You know like yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. when I was recruit. Yeah. And but I still had to work hard. So I start learning, uh, watching quite a lot of television. You know like religiously watching television, not anything, just to learn things. Just it's, to pick up the, yeah, the language, language just, just yeah. to hear and listen. Because listening, yes. you know when I when I learned Spanish, I, I found it very hard to listen in another language. So, so yeah. you know to have to work in that language. Yeah. Must yeah. have been extremely yes. yeah. tough. So I used to open the English dictionary and then open to the Nepalese and then just try to understand like, you know, like oh, Nepalese and sometimes Urdu and then the and English because just try to make sense what that mean yeah. and try to understand. It's going through that for years, you know, like, and then after three years, we went to the uh, junior break and that was quite tough. Um, but I think it was, you know, like, like, like everything in life. Uh, I truly believe hard work. You know, hard work is a god. Yeah. And you know, if you walk days, days in, days out, and you start learning and keep going, it, you know, wherever you go, you become religious with it. And uh, that I think that's what makes me um, uh, struggle quite a lot in, you know, like junior break on. But somehow I managed to pass it. And and when I then. Um, Con, uh, finished the junior break on and obviously became lunch jack. After that, and then I was very uh, fortunate and we had the uh, one of the uh, OC who I now realize he failed the selection. <laughs> 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 obviously by then I have no idea. <laughs> and then um, uh, maybe for, for my five years point and uh, I just came back from junior break on and uh, he called me in office like oh Chris coming in office I was like shit what I have done you know I was like I feel like you know one of those feeling I was a lunch jack just finished the junior break on I'm like tip top you know like yeah. and I was like and I'm going through like you know proper way and marching and saluting and like oh sir whatever and he's like no no Chris relax you know he's just relax and it's like he's like oh did you hear about the uh, SAS like of course everyone here they have SAS but how do you how much do you know about SAS like not really, you know, uh, we, we genuinely think Gurkhas by then, especially in the infantry, you know, right, infantry, none of us were on the, uh, on, on the regiment. Yeah. And he said like, oh, uh, I just came back from the selection. I think we realized there is no one from the infantry Gurkhas over the 100, 200 years in the selection. And we were thinking about maybe we're going to send the first trial pass from the, you know, like, Royal Gore Rifles. Uh, and, and that's where you are here. So, like, oh. And then he said, like, oh, if you don't know, you don't don't worry about anything. And all you have to do is just come, you just came back from the uh, break and beacons. Just go there and start carrying the backpack and start running. I said, like, oh, I just came back from there. I think I can do that. So, like, can you drive? No, I can't drive nothing and it's like okay we're gonna send the first uh so all the regime they put together and then this um slick the 30 30 of the you know like guys from the regiment one hour here and two hours here and it's like oh we're gonna send them let's get let them give one month yeah uh, so they gave me the one month off they will you know like hire the four toner so 30 of us sitting in the four toner like drop you in the break and beacons and then just off we go. I will see you in one month's time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how my uh, pretty much uh, uh, very, you know, like five years with the Gurkhas and uh, from that point yeah, picked up, uh, you know, like kind of told, almost yeah. told to go and do the selection yeah. and without kind of understanding in a way. Uh, but you know, it's that's what life is, I guess. And you just uh, do as your commander told you to do, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you 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 pitch up on selection proper. Yep. Um, Down in Sunny Ridge on the hills. Yep. How did you find the hills? You you could you're a fairly fit guy. I'm, I'm assuming you were you were pretty fit. Yeah, I think um, 
I think what I realized is um, uh, maybe I was fit enough, but maybe didn't have an understanding and very naive, uh, you know, like just come under my OC, go and do the selection, not understand. I did, actually, I didn't know nothing about, the, you know, like selection. Yeah. Not a day one, what the hell are we going to expect? And we, um, we did have one, uh, you know, Gurkha from engineers, but we didn't have any connection. Yeah. So we were just the weird, there are a bunch of us, 30 of us, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. We have no, you know, like uh, reputation of speaking and connection, what is actually the, you know, like looks like. Yeah. And we just turn up and first, you know, like first they turn up on the slicks and, you know, field. And then uh, they were like, oh, 4 a.m. with the, you know, like bargain has turned up. Like, what are we going to do? And then they was like, okay, go and jump in the photo or and then you just run, you know, like yeah, in yeah. a mile. And it's like, that's it. And it, actually, I start, I only know when the DS said me, to, oh, this is what we're going to do today. That's as far as I knew anything. Yeah, so you literally, <laughs> everything, you just, just, what's next? What's right, next, okay, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> what's next? I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I still remember, you know, like turning up uh, when I did the selection, like I think there's, uh, they said 375 guys turn up. And then I look up and everyone's like, you know, like paras and marine and all, you know, like yeah. all the people and big and giant and ripped. I used to be sitting on the side of the, you know, just looking up them. I was like, what the hell I'm doing here? Am I, am I good enough? <laughs> 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 oh, try to fit in. Uh, yeah, but, you know, like you, we, you know, we all do, I get just told, I just do as you told and uh, just... Yeah. Be 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 there at right time and uh, at, with the right attitude and right dress, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just I always say it's monkey see, monkey do. And <laughs> yeah. if monkey doesn't do, monkey goes home. It's <laughs> the simple thing. Isn't it? <laughs> I like so you, it. You got you got through the hills you, and you get to the trees. How did you find the the, the jungle? Did because you spent a bit of time in the jungle yeah. in Brunei, so that's no sort of like, you must have found yeah. that a little bit, sort of like you knew what to expect. Yeah, you know what, actually very uh, intriguing I found, because I th I found the hill was, I thought the hill will be a um, um, lot, lot harder, I find okay. But I think, I've, I initially think I was from Brunei, I've been there, and I thought jungle would be easier. Oh man, oh, I, I've... <laughs> I, I struggle quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I, I have a huge respect. Um, you know, the my f DS was John from the Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know exactly yeah, on, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he is, you know, like sometime he was my saving grace. And even though we lost him and uh, he's always, you know, one of those great, person he never not he's like i end up like oh chris yeah coming in with in my you know section and he you know like kind me you know guide me through and um, i've been very honored and privileged to work under him on the selection you know like you know, i think we all do but i had a really great ds and yeah. uh, they look after me very well and I've been very honored, and then yeah, and then but the hard it still has to do the hearts, you know. I still had to do go yeah, through the you thing. Still got, you still got yeah. to do it. You still got to do it on your own at some <laughs> yeah. stage as well. So yeah. yeah, but I find very hard. Feel, yeah. If I honest with you, you know, I being there jungle and but it it take you in, isn't it? Because you're walking with all the gear and yeah. you know, sweating, and it's like it's not easy. The, the things I found the hardest were like the report writing. You know, putting the gloves on under the <laughs> trying to write reports and Andy's. Perfect pieces of paper. It's going. Fuck, I couldn't do this in a classroom. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, are you you speaking with me then, Phil? Yeah. You know, I was really, really struggling by that in yeah. terms of things. I can't like, imagine, you know, then having to do it on top of it with a bit of a language barrier yeah, still yeah. happening and all that. Yeah, that was uh, very hard for me. You know, one of the, what I like, I said, I actually sucked. You know, I thought like, oh, I'm from Gurkha. I, I, I was here. I did the enemy for the selection before I will be all over. But when I turn up actually, you know, it's it shocked me. Oh my God, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the 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 selection the first day was uh John told us on the things like we were like I think uh, thirteen of us on the selection and the first briefing was uh you will we will just have a six. So until the six of us go down. So we just keep tabbing. And we, you know, like long tabbing, and then yeah. you look down, no one goes down. I am the one going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mental stress and the pressure and all this thing. But yeah, I think it's still, it's still, it's still quite often. Like you say, you know, it's, um, I find very 
uh, especially uh, writing, uh, repo writing, and on going through the going through the toilets, yeah. isn't it? Being yeah, a sentry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all that, all that. The yeah. standing to the wet yeah. kit, the dry. This everything wants you dead in the jungle, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great. Yeah. So did you, you you got through the jungle first time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then on obviously onto the rest of selection. Uh, had you parachuted at this stage before, or just so had you done any jumps in that? No, I did. I did had the you know the basic the P jump, company, the P rounds. company yeah. with before with, with the Gurkhas with the two paras, um, but the. Uh, yeah, uh, to be honest, I think after that, um, before the jumping, I think we did the OP and in order driving the c city. That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's, yeah. Oh my God. I didn't even know how the hell I pass. I have no idea. I couldn't drive first thing. I had no lic license anyway before, by then. And, and radio, you know, the, on the OP, yeah. it's, you know, that. 317. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they gave me, oh, you're a radio operator. I said, like, oh, my God. I didn't even know what is this thing, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. And it was, uh, it was, you know, curve. You know, like, my life was like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, hit it, just hit, kept going up. Keep going up. And I was like, when is this going to end? And it's constant learning, constant learning, yeah. and constant learning. But I think we just, I know, had, you know, Work hard, isn't it? Learning when everyone's sleeping, you you know, like you know, open the notebook and how to turn off, how to turn on, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. and always have a good friends, you know, and a couple of really good guys, help, you know. That's that's how you know we 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 think we do ourselves, but actually, you know, it's just the people surrounding us, yeah, and, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, like comrades, and I think those uh, play the vital roles. Did you get through selection? Yep. What what squadron did you go to? Uh, I went to the A squadron. Okay, what year was this? Uh, 04. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so the, the squadron's already at war then, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's already, it's already out <laughs> yeah, fighting. Out, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, uh, a, uh, a squadron, one troop. Okay, yeah. what was your first tour? Did you, did you almost hit the ground straight away or did you? Yeah, pretty much straight on. Uh, okay. Pretty much straight on. Uh, as I went to the um, troop, and they were, I think, on the, you know, like overseas leave yeah. a couple of months before we deploy. So, yeah, that's uh, my straight on, on to the um, Afghan. Okay. First so Af trip. Afghan yeah. was your first trip? Yeah. How, how did you find that? Uh, that was, uh, yeah, I think mind-blowing for me, you know, especially being a girl. Cause, and I was, uh, you know, like uh, just a um, uh, four-man team four man team uh because our because of the language yeah. it's the urdu and bit of a you know like our lang background so i was going as a tarp walking with the oh, four okay. man team and uh yeah again you know life it's just learning curve and yeah very learn quite a lot uh, uh yeah we established the, you know like the uh triple 2 yeah. so that that was that was a, that was a mission they were, uh, were they busy, busy tours, were they? Oh, yes. That was very busy. Okay. I think, um, if I remember, I think we end up staying there maybe nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Because we're, you know, you know, like, because it's the, we were there from normally, you know, I think March, April, and then supposed to finish before the Christmas. It's yeah. like a tour, but some somehow we end up going up. And because of we're doing the selection, uh, for for the local and then because of their you know like Ramadan and E yeah yeah, yeah. Is, everything yeah, takes it take it then like oh yeah. we have to finish this you know one of the guys are like oh we better finish this one then done and everything when the guys come in they will have fresh start so yeah so what what were your main sort of taskings on that what 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 were the main sort of um, bulk of your work that you were that doing? was the first established the first kind of ANF you know like SF and then the and the, and then Walking with them on the ground, narcos. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that was our kind of uh, men. The, 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 the Afghan National Forces, or yeah. whatever they're called, how were they? How, how, how receptive were they? were they? Were they good? Were they. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think, like all the locals, what I find really interesting was the, because I eat, I know I often spend, you know, in, in their, you know, rotis and then in the I go there and, um, they are they are pretty sensitive, you know what they are, and, and you know like everyone, every everywhere in the world, you know I think if we a little bit open up ourselves and then yeah. you know like give it give it away ourselves, then they will give back. That's that's the one thing I learned uh, slowly. Uh, we become very good, 
and the uh, end of you know end of uh, you know obviously you know like going on the ground and walking with them you know, talking with them yeah, it was um uh, one of the thing also what helped me is because the uh, cuz Nepalese and India and and you know like the culture and language are you know like yeah. it's, it's like 50 50 you know like 50% language yeah so you can understand more understand more, more. Yeah. and then i could understand what's going on you know in the undercurrent and we i could go like you know how is everything and start communicating and eating with them and I, that 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 definitely helped call out okay yeah yeah it's cuz it's a, the terrain as well is is yeah. is is yeah. fairly similar, similar. It's very, yeah. very very hilly yeah. terrain hilly yeah so what, what parts of afghanistan did you, did you work in Oh, uh, it was down in the south, south on the border. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, that's mountainous down there. Yeah, that, pretty, down pretty, yeah, pretty mountain, and I think it's um, pretty snowing on the winter as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Difficult place. Yeah. So you do that tour. How many, how many tours did you do all told? I think I recall. Maybe I must have done. I think maybe seven, seven or eight tours. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, Um, were they all working with the Afghan nationals or did you do no, some no, I think yeah so I uh, did uh, four four or five tours in Afghan and two in Iraq okay. and then other are like you know like just the team talks yeah yeah yeah, like yeah, yeah. and there everywhere basically yeah. 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 what was your what was your favorite tour have you got a tour that stands out from the others have you got a tour that you go that was the one that really mm. uh yeah I think maybe one of the my best No, I think you know so it's like always have a good or bad but maybe Iraq 07 okay that was task post night that is that's the one of my you know like busy yeah but as 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 we dream to be more sort of you know our way I think that's probably one of the great time and uh, out with the guys and Matt Matt is you know yeah, 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 always yeah, working yeah, yeah. with them yeah. close together. Yeah, it's Rick. Really they, they were they were kinetic tours, but they were yeah, busy, yeah. full on, Very full fun, on. punchy tours. Yeah, uh, punchy tour. At, at the same time, I think Lorna quite a lot with with life. Yeah, you know, I think uh, you know as a journey of life too. How did your spiritualism? Because you are a very spiritual guy, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> spiritual, sorry, guy. Yeah. How did that fit in with what you were doing? Did you did you have time to sort of like appreciate? Yeah, you know what? This is exactly where it start beginning. You know, it's uh, uh, so basically, um, uh, and I think in in especially in this tour, end up lo- losing quite good friend. Mm. You know, like um, a really really close friend. And the one of the job we were doing, this is where it started, was the um, um, land on the target. Uh, we um, we did the jump. You know, yeah. like night jump and land it on, and having the mission, and obviously we we kind of achieve you know like whatever the mission was. Uh, the sad thing, or sad or good or bad thing was like still you know like bullet flying around mm. during that period, and uh, maybe on call maybe about thirteen or fourteen came and hold my hand, and uh, and start crying. You know, I start crying, and it's like you know, it's, it's one of this moment, and then I start crying as well. Then I start realization came. Actually, whatever we do in our life, with the mission, with the job, the country, whole our family and friends, and then we are there, all the good purpose and mission. But life and death, actually, had we didn't have control over even my life or yeah. some anyone life. There's always someone above or someone decide. Uh, you know, like life. Yeah, it's like, I suppose you know. you'd call it fate. Yeah, f- yeah. You can't control fate. Yeah, yeah. Fate controls you. Yeah. And then, uh, you know what, I just like, I start crying. I was like, shit, I can't cry. You know, I'm the guy with the full, in nighttime with, you know, like all the gadgets, right? And then yeah. I kind of let, oh, we're here, you know, because um, your dad was, in you know, like influencing here and supplying the weapon and we just want to make sure, look after your, your you know, locals and look after international and also, make sure the community stay the way, you know, like good for the co- country and people. And then, then that happened. And then when I, you know, like as we do, you know, come back and all the heat goes down and start doing that, that taught me call out. And that actually, then obviously I still, you know, like active and, you know, like that's actually early stage of my career you know, with the regimen. And, but that helped me, 
because uh, then that helped me to after years and eight years goes and uh, uh, it took me to the my childhood you know yeah. it, it took me to quite dark dark areas you know, dark dark places in our life and then that when I found out I think um, um, we we are even though we we all have a good intention and we have a good vision and we are doing work and we everyone has to sacrifice their life time and commitment we do for our sake of our love our country or the people and friend and comrades who yeah. gave their life for us and then it's still you know i think there is always point we realize and that where took me that incident took me you know like quite a place and then then took me to my childhood as a grown up as a monk you know like yeah. um, uh, doing the ritual and traditional understanding of life and actually finding the journey of life and then then and I start you know I'm still focused with the good intention and you know like with the service as a life uh, whatever we do for ourselves and for the country and the friends but as again it's important to deal within us you know when something happen mm-hmm. then we still on our own and when that come i think it's uh, if we have got a deeper understanding ourselves and a deeper understanding of who we are uh, one of the thing what i really realize is you know when we actually pulling the trigger you know pulling the trigger but yeah. actually before the bullet go forward the trigger has to go back yeah isn't it and then that's where when the trigger is back that's where we can focus Yeah. that's where we hold our breath and that's where we aim is very clear and we hit the target but i think in our life i think we we don't really we tend to run around and go through but never pause and never try yeah, so, to yeah so yeah your life lesson from yeah, that yes. is you should step back yeah. in order and, to move forward yeah, properly yes yes that's what so really you were drawing so much spiritual i think mean, combat because everything's on so much of an extra edge. Yeah. It's life yeah. times 10, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's also death times 10. Yes, 100%. And because it's like that, you know, it's like somebody jumps out of a plane to, to experience life. Yeah. They're taking themselves as close to death as they possibly can. I, I hear know. I hear that said and combat does exactly that, doesn't it? 100% agree, Phil. I think you know what actually uh in my por- personal experience and uh, you know like very fortunate grown up with the monk and understanding is that the I think all my friend with highest respect guys actually gone and die for me the bitis sas guy gone through the door and he took me back you know i can't ask any friends in the world who does that no you know uh, regardless of the color at the background it's only the bitis sas you know these are the story people don't know i think are really close to my heart but i think at the same time I think what uh what I found was all the you know like tip of a ball I spoke or the you know like successful guys in their business or in the relationship or the like our guys who passed the selection serve death after death after death giving up everything not for them for the people for the friends for the country and for the family you know they hold I think this is where the lot of us even the family and the country don't recognize that and for that is i found especially you know like in our you know in our environment colleagues are so sensitive you know they are almost they are so religious but not you know like i'm not talking yeah, about yeah, the christianity yeah, yeah. No, or no, they're, buddhist they're tuned. yes yeah, they understand they are so understanding yeah. the life you know you you know feel when i go and walk any of the you know like situation i don't have to say anything you know yeah, that's right. yeah guys will just turn around and cover our back without you, saying anything you, you'll never learn how to steady your ship if absolutely. you don't go into a choppy sea absolutely <laughs> yeah that's in, the way it is isn't yeah. it yeah and then but you know feel not many people have that ability they found out only 20% people listen in the whole world have that intuition mm. have that understanding and then that is actually you know if you look at the they call spirituality they call religious they call sensitive you know they call you know like awareness you know this is what and i think our friend and guys who pass the selection have that ability mm. you know but sometimes we don't uh, we we have that ability but we don't recognize it know? doesn't manifest as you know i'm not 
professing to be a yeah. preacher, but yeah. I'm learning stuff that you know somebody of spirit of a spiritual background will understand and strive to yeah. get out of life. Yeah, absolutely. I think it, then that's what actually became sometimes hinders because we have that ability, but we don't know how is that happen. We have that. I'm hundred percent believer. All the guys who passed as selection is the point one percent of the you know like their intuition, their sensitivity is so uh, you know like overactive than the normal people. If you if you take the hundred people and go inside the door, they don't have a clue what's going on. But if you take take the one regiment guy, they will not go in like they know exactly what's going on. You know, it's maybe yeah. you don't know how how is that happen, but that's that's what I find really really interesting. And then. And yeah, and then the uh, story is like then again, you know, uh, incident happened a few times like that, and it's been, you know, it's been life changing experience, and I still feel like I'm I'm living this life for the service who gave their life for yeah. for for us and for me, and I'm still alive and breathing because they gave their life. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. No, I get that. So. Outside of combat in the regiment, mm. you did quite a lot of mountaineering as well, didn't you? Because you were we were a mountain trooper, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. So, you, you led. What, what was your first time up to, to to lead an expedition up into the Himalayas with the, with the army? Yeah, so that was in came in two thousand eleven. So uh, I was just about to took over the uh, you know mountain chief uh, yeah. and in in the regiment. And uh, there's uh, I didn't know uh, the Gurkha. They wanted to do the. Uh, 200 years, they found out none of the Gurkhas submitted Everest until 200 years. Okay. And then one of the Gurkha officers uh, had an idea, oh, what we done, we send the Gurkhas on the Everest. Because in Nepal, no one actually climbed. Funnily enough, none of the Gurkhas know how to climb. <laughs> and uh, they were struggling to find the instructor. And then somehow, I think it must be the... Uh, our CEO, CEO has the letter come, oh, is there anything, any of your guys can help us, the Gurkhas going on Everest? And the CEO came to me and said, like, oh, Chris, I thought, which regiment you are? I'm Gurkhas. Oh, do you know that Gurkhas tried to find the instructor and to lead their Gurkha um, anniversary 200 years of service? And I said, like, and then, oh, and then I was happened to be the, you know, like, HBF, you yeah. know, like military mountain guy, just yeah, yeah, Paul. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. the yeah. They was like, I think you are instructor, and then it may be, you know, it's maybe if you want it, I say like, oh, you are the boss, you know, you are the boss of, you know, mine. If you're happy, I'm, I'll be my honor, you know. I've by then I was sort of maybe I think twelve years service with the regiment. If you're happy, I'll go and happily lead the Gurkhas, and he, you know, like that's really good. I like the regiment so much, and they're like, okay, Chris, that's you go and just lead and give give us a time how much you need and wow. um, okay so they they give you yeah, some they, they give me time, time off so yeah i did the had a great opportunity and uh, i basically trained from 300 gurkhas to the 18 of them did the whole you know like base selection process yeah. too and on the back of that then i end up taking the actually five guys three um three from Harryford and two from the pool on that was Nims as well, so I, okay, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. bring him and start show them how to climb, and we bluffed it. All the SF, <laughs> <laughs> all the SF guys were instructor, but they didn't yeah. even know how to, you know, like all these things. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah, all yeah, the yeah, army yeah. just like, oh, hey, for the guys are instructing you, they won't yeah. go and just climb. They don't need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's story. Yeah, that's how I started my. Uh, climbing and 2000, we were the first, uh, 2015, obviously we were in camp one when the earthquake happened. And yeah, and uh, my, uh, we had two teams, so my team was in the camp one and earthquake and we came down, almost rescue, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe about 15 dead bodies, you know, like in the wow. base camp. So actually expedition collapse and came down and we, we went re-attack on 2017. And we have still hold the Guinness World Record. So 13 service member submitted. It's the biggest ever group. Yeah, 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 as yeah, one yeah. in one of us group. So we submitted that. And once we submitted that, then, then you know, it's, it's life. And then uh, after I came back, and um, there's a couple of guys from regiment like, oh, we should go and do the, like, you know, the mountain troop or what, going to do the K2. 
then yeah. Is it, it, I mean, if you've done K2, yeah, done, yeah, done the K2, yeah, yeah. and another done another eight thousand meter uh, double degree. And uh, which would you say is the hardest? Would you say K2 is the hardest? I mean, you hear a lot of people say I've, I've not done either, so mm. you know. You know, it's, I think it's uh, it's so many challenges itself. Uh, technically, technically yeah. climbing K2 is harder. Uh, but put it in perspective, so Everest, you need actually uh, maybe about uh, base camp, camp on camp to summit about three to four days. Okay. But the uh, K2, you can do within two days. You okay. Know, like, it's just the, that's, in terms of distance, it's quite a lot shorter. But technically, K2 is a lot more, you know, like you're going to a couple of overhang and... Well, you know, so pro- proper climbing. Proper not, climbing, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's not a track. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So you've did it with that. Um, what, what's the name of the guy with no legs? I, I always forget his name. Oh, Harry. Harry. Yeah. That was that must have been something. Yeah, that was uh, a self challenge. You know, very very uh, moving challenge. I yeah. guess. Um, yeah, he obviously lost his leg in Afghan. Uh, Harry Harry ten or I think Harry ten or yeah. twelve. Um, yeah, when I because when I was when part of when I was leading the you know this Gurkha Everest expedition and obviously he found out he was obviously completely man down for a couple of years going dark dark and uh, uh, he met up on uh, we catch up on of the event and he asked me oh Chris I heard about you you know all this thing you have and do you think uh, I can have a can I give it a go and I look at him he's struggling to get out from bed. And this boy have a dream to climb the Everest. But, you know, in life, and I said, oh, we can try, you know, give a hope. Let's give it a try. And um, it took almost like six years, you know, mm-hmm. like uh, coming out and we start doing, you know, like like basic thing. And, um, um, you know, just take him to the Penifin a couple of times yeah. and w- one hour, you know, two hour walking and coming and adjusting all this thing because it's never has done anything before. And and slowly, slowly, again, built up, doing a couple of trips in Himalayas, Nepal, you know, 4,000 meter came back, 6,000 meter came back. And we, we, you know, like all the politics that um, Nepalese government wants to ban and, uh, you know, blind and any disabled and yeah. it's just you know like politics and they are in in maybe in in a, in their government terms they may be right they don't want to take any extra risks no they don't want yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't want to they, any more bodies yeah, on the right. mountain, <laughs> basically that's what yeah. they're saying isn't it yeah and i think at the same time you know like um, then how can we take a calculated risks isn't it? how what are the you know is uh, what are the risks we're taking and how, how can we you know, overcome and what are the requirements and pre- prerequisite training we have done. And actually, um, Harry has done a raid, you know, like 4,000 meter, 5,000 meter, 6,000 meter, 7,000 meter, all the step we supposed to prepare, pretty much all prepare. Um, yeah, I think we were very fortunate. But the um, one of the hardest thing, uh, what I realized is the, um, uh, first thing is uh, being empty is obviously time. You know, it's like uh, from the death zone, just to give you the roughly idea, from uh, death zone above the 8,000 meter, yeah. uh, uh, it's called the death zone because of the oxygen not enough to being alive. Yeah. You are basically dying. So they call about maybe maximum 10 to 12 hours. You can, you know, survive and go up and down. Yeah. And normal, let's say normally 12 to 14 hours from camp where you go submit and come back. But uh, it took him about twenty five hours. Okay, so he's yeah. in that he's in yes. that zone for a lot longer. Longer, a lot of exposure, and the, as as the expedition leader, and you know, like all the rigs, everything. Uh, the weather changes so quickly up there as well, yeah, doesn't it? So you're also exposing yeah. yourself to the, to yeah. get that window, yes. twenty five hour window must Wind, be an achievement yeah. on its own. That is the yeah. I think that was a lot of challenge, yeah. and I think and then the other challenge what I found is the human factor. You know, human management, and you know, like we had uh, Harry, the double amputee. Then we had the you know like uh, twelve man team supporting him. Then how is the people feeling? You know, how they you know is how is their condition and and how is the weather? You know, how is everyone doing? How the avalanches? Oh my God, that's constantly. But again, I think you know. 
like we do. That's the one thing I learned from raising men, you know, discipline and just be honest. And uh, yeah, I think honesty is a big thing, especially yeah. on those mountains. Yeah, you know, if you can't if you can't be honest with yourself, you're going to get yourself in yeah. trouble, aren't you? Yeah, you know, just try to be, you know, get up and you know, just try to judge, you know, like not the who they are but how, what is the circumstance what yeah. is the situation i can't make a mistake because you know one of the situation you you just make one call then it's like life or death isn't it constantly you go on like oh are they going to come back or not and then yeah. oh what's the way they're going to change or not you know it's constantly pray you know constantly hope for the best and you know one of those you know that's where the lot of um, you know self awareness and actually understanding ourselves deeper understanding help call a lot you know constant and you know this year was one of the deadliest season it more than 20 people de- dead and everest a lot of people. yeah a lot and also the day harry summited that's a four dead body like imagine these are all able bodied young kids mm. you know but then, you know, I think Harry being like almost taking times three longer on the exposure zone. And, you know, sometimes I think it's one of the mir- miracles happened. And having said that, we did have a really good team. And, you know, we had a really, really like uh, military mindset. You mm-hmm. know, we had uh, actually I had plan, right? First team goes if they the team. What I early stage, what I found out is... Once you expose, actually, Harry, he's slow, but he's walking hard. Isn't he? He's walking like 10 men. Yeah. But the guys who are supporting Serpas and the guys are slow. They are the ones suffering because they're exposing longer and they are not walking hard. Yeah. And then once I recognized that, then what I planned was the guys will be walking as much as they can. And if they can't, then we, we they come back and have a tent, hot food, and in the sleeping bag, then we have sent another team in a re- relieving place. A lot. Relay it. Yeah, relay yeah, 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 So yeah. Um, I think that's the that's the secret. You know, that's a secret. And obviously, there's a lot of other, you know, like, um, you know, subjective and objective danger is always there. But uh, I think we did have nailed it on the base camp, make sure all the surfers, all the... You know, um, guides are trained not only day but night. You know, yeah, in the base camp, I want yeah. the headlights on. I want you to feel headlights off. You know, go through up sailing, go through down. How can in all this basic yeah, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. I think we nailed it. And then, then when you come to the, you know, actually summit piece, then we say like, okay, guys, now he's suffering. In the you know the guy who's suffering is the uh, guide. So you go and relieve him. He come down have a. To a, you know, like two hours keep in a sleeping bag and you go and replace him. You know, all this basic yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. which is yeah. uh, definitely play the huge role. You know, the smaller thing, but it's consequence, what we what we get out. I think that's what, that's how we achieve. That moment when, when, he, when Harry gets to the top, what was that like? That must have been, that must have been some emotional moment that. Yeah, that was a very, very emotional. But you know what, Phil, we didn't even know. You know, because the well, they, they they did call. We had the uh, Thraya phone, yeah. and they call, and uh, that's we on the in the and on the radio couldn't hear anything like or apart from wind, sh- <laughs> like oh what the hell, you know we just like oh we just, we just hear oxygen oxygen and then like not summit, but later on when we came down talk, they was like oh we are summited, but we hear not summited. It was like oh shit, <laughs> you know just <laughs> like well you know like and hope for the best, and we send the guys to uh, you know like. Like uh, take him down, all the good, and later on we found submitted as like oh, and then you know all this media and all things like we said like oh should we shout out now or should we keep it you know just kind of keep the campaign going all this media yeah. is really yeah but it's the great uh, some of the time you know we uh, achieve and we've been given you know like the situation or the gift by the by the by the friends or the by the universe or by the whatever it is it's a gift we don't deserve some time you know i think we've been given some time more than who we are uh i think i i i look at that way in life in so many ways you know um never thought you know i will be achieving i'm like you know you know i will be here you know i will be here sitting with yeah, you yeah, yeah, talking yeah. this stuff and 
you know, if I look my background and thing, you know, there's it's just like yeah, from that that young lad, yeah, in the mountains, in the mountain, who's not even seen electricity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and now yeah. you are. You know, you you've had some, you've you've done some great. You've, your achievements have been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you know one of those way you know like and you know appreciate it. You know, uh, the words the British government had gave us an opportunity and to serve and to service. And, you know, like do and learn and like we said, life is carving and start stick on discipline. And, you know, that it's, as long as I think we will have a uh, suffer and we will uh, complain when there's duality within us. It's not like, oh, I wasn't sure about what is this? And then what if don't ask anything? You know, what if some, your instructor, your father, your teacher say, oh, you turn up eight o'clock, you turn up, you know? And then if someone say you you go and do a thing, you just go and do your thing. There's no, I think then, you know, like then life will be a lot more easier. I think that's probably what helped me who I am. And yeah, yeah. And, and also, you know, like I had a great, uh, you know, uh, uh, comrades, great, great commanders and great friends. My staff is, all the staff is in Hereford being fantastic. And yeah. it's like my father figures and my mentor. And, you know, without asking without you know um, you know inquiring anything you know just you know just be there and be great to be there and i think that that's what led me um realize and be gratitude isn't it yeah, be yeah. happy and be just you know present and what we have and appreciate so what are your what are your plans now for the future what's well, very quickly now so what, yeah. what are you, what are your plans for the future what, so what does the future hold yeah you? I'm still working quite a lot injured veteran. I think you can see working with the you know like pilgrim band. The pilgrim band, um, yeah. I'm hope hope I'd love to do some stuff with oh, myself. No, he should yeah. he should come. I think yeah. Matt is you know one of those guys. Or Matt, I we shop together, and I told him every time, oh, he help you help me on the in the in during the service. Now he helped me during the you know like civilian yeah, wall as well. He's yeah, helping and not um, also working quite a lot other you know like Parkinson and. Um, I don't know, Phil, for some reason I found uh, all the uh, like differently able personnel attra attractive to me and I got constantly DMing like, oh, we heard about you, uh, can you help us? And then, yeah, working with this, uh, and send us another seven summit project with another double amputee, uh, working with the, another Parkinson. And I think for me, my vision is now to share I think share and uh, to whatever I learn in my life through the, let's say, you know, like uh, uh, Eastern philosophy with the grown up, with the monk or the Buddhist or Hindus. And then coming here, regimen, show me the way who I am and help me achieve in my life with discipline and dedication and a lot of uh, death yeah. in a situation. I think one of the things I learned is every situation, either we became wiser and you know stand up dust off and keep moving or we became wounded with emotion and psychological but i think we only can reflect as our journey in our life and to uh, you know like and to share and then to you know help if we can help and and also get help you know if we mm. need if we are something we need to stand up say like oh uh, guys, I'm this one, and you know I'm very honored and feel. I think you're doing this kind of platform for the guys like us. You know, had no no kind of kind of media and thing, but still had opportunity to to you know, tell the story. You know, to come up. I, I think for some people, because for some people, they're never going to be able to be, be in a position where they're going to get to do some of the stuff that you've been privileged to do and that I've been privileged to do. Yeah. And by talking about it and by passing on those experiences, yeah. it does actually genuinely help some people. You know, and there's a lot of lessons to be learned that can be employed, even if it's not kicking a door in an Afghanistan yeah. or, yeah. you know, running through a village in Iraq or somewhere. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff that can be learned just by, you know, just by listening to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, Phil. I think you are 100% right, you know, because the lot of, especially what I found to our young generation, the young kids are, they are kind of almost like, uh, you know, like directionless. And there is no inspiring story to look up. 
Well, and there's no role models. Yeah, there's the, no that's role models, models. anymore. So, you I know, th- they need to be. They need yeah. to see people. Yeah, I think they need to people like you know, like whatever that we achieve. I think that that need to be hard, and we need to be share our story. Otherwise, I I feel like you know, in our life, I think we tend to be hold back quite a lot. But it's okay. But I think when it comes to time. I think it's only useful whatever we've gone through your life. And let's maybe some other young people can learn to see mm. and hear and, oh, this is how it can be done. Yeah. Isn't it? it can be learned. Otherwise, it's like you've taken all those experiences, yeah. sold them, and run away. It's run away. And you know then I mean? you, want to, you want yeah. to help other people out yeah, with that. 100%. Stuff, you? You know, yeah. that's, that's why I got involved yeah. you know, with cadets and that sort of stuff. You know, that's why you do what you do with, yes. you know, with the people that you're helping. And it's, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Listen. We're running out of time in here. It's been phenomenal talking to you. Please become a friend of the show, and we'll we'll, we'll follow your activities and hopefully you know maybe even one day I'll see you at a base camp or something like that. Yeah, you know I mean? that would be great. Love, love to do that. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you, Bill. So much it respect. Nice you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.